and fit routine today, okay? So I want you to make sure that you have water and I want you to make sure that you're taking breaks when you need it and I want you to make sure that you smile. So first off, are you ready to have some fun? Uh-uh, a little louder. Are you ready to have some fun? That's better. Okay, so let's get started. Take a deep breath in and exhale out. And again, inhale up and reach those arms to the sky. And I want you just to go side to side. Feel that really nice stretch. If you guys want to pump some tunes and get that uh, motivation going, you guys feel free to do that. But I want you to be able to hear me, okay? So reach. Now we're going to go around the world. Reach all the way around as far as you can and then go the other way. Good, and we're gonna do that again. So today we're gonna work on a little bit of strength, a little bit of balance, and a little bit of agility. Good, all the way up. Okay, and I want you to bring those feet together, and I want you to hug your knee into your chest. So you might find, like me, your balance is a little bit jeopardized, and that's okay. So just be mindful of it, go nice and slow. Hug the knees into the chest. And as your body starts to get a little bit warmer, you might be able to pull them up a little bit higher. And maybe just test that and see. Good, give me two more. Big reach, big pull. Good, and big reach, big pull. Plant those feet apart. I want you to take your arms out in front of you. I want you just to look behind you, okay? Look behind you. Keep one arm reaching towards me. And look behind. Good, give me two more. Awesome. And I just want you to give me marches, okay? So march those knees as if you're going up a really steep hill and pump your arms really, really big, okay? Nice and big, try and get those knees up a little higher. A little higher. Good, and stop. Plant those feet, we're gonna pretend we're ducks. And we're going to go into a really big duck squat, okay? And we're going to pop our fingertips together. Push your knees out to the side, okay? Push those knees out, and I want you just to wiggle your knees a little bit, almost like you're trying to take little steps forwards. Good, push those knees out. Put your hands on the floor, straighten your legs, soften your knees, and slowly roll up. If you feel a little bit dizzy, give yourself a little second, okay? until you don't anymore, and you're gonna give me a little tick-tock, side to side, okay? Trying to get those heart rates up a little bit more before we get into some of the fun stuff. And I want you to give me little bump kicks. So kick your bum. Good, and knees up in front. So some of this stuff we're doing today you may not have uh, done before, and so you just do your best and just try and have fun with it. Okay? Your first exercise, we're gonna create characters. Okay, so the first character you're going to be is a ninja. All right, I'm going to be timing you. Okay, for 30 seconds for the most uh, part. So get your hands up. So what we're gonna do is squat and do a big kick, okay? Like a ninja, okay? You can even do like arms if you want, okay? But ready, here we go, and down. Kick, down, kick. And I want you to think about keeping your bellies super tight. Okay, down, kick. And like I said, if you wanna kick and chop with that arm, you can do that as well, okay? Keep going, you're doing great. Almost there. Give me two more. Good, and last one. Good job, okay. Just tap those feet side to side. We're putting aside the ninja, and now you're gonna be a lumberjack. Okay, so I want you to pick up your big heavy ax. You're gonna plant those feet. I'm just gonna show you what you're gonna do. Plant your feet so your knees are nice and soft. You're gonna take your ax, and I want you to pretend like you are chopping a piece of wood like a lumberjack. We're gonna go 30 seconds. I want you to go hard and heavy and strong. Ready and go. Hit. Okay, really visualize 
You chopping that piece of wood. Okay, keep going. And I want you to make sure you're breathing. Don't hold your breath. Keep going. You're doing great. Almost there. Five seconds. Four. Good, and stop. Just tap those toes side to side. Excellent work at being a lumberjack. We're gonna work a little bit of balance and we're gonna be an airplane now. So what I want you to do is pick a leg, okay? And I want you to slowly go forwards until you're completely flat towards the floor. We're gonna keep going with that same leg until I tell you to stop, okay? So picture yourself like an airplane. Ready? And down forwards, and then coming up nice and controlled. If you find your balance is really, really off, then have something close by, like a wall or a chair, that you can kind of just help you, okay? Awesome work, guys. Give me one more, nice and slow. Good job. All right, let's turn it around. We're gonna do the other side, ready? And you might find that your balance is a lot better on one side than the other. And that's okay. But what's important is that we try to work out those imbalances, okay? Make sure you're keeping your hips square, which means straight ahead. Go nice and slow. I want you to give me one more. Good work. Excellent job of being an airplane. Next time, we are going to be boxers. So, I want you to get those hands up. Cover the face, okay, to protect yourself. We're gonna do a duck and weave and a jab, okay? Duck and weave so you're getting out of the way of your opponent and jab, okay? I don't care which arm you jab with, you just jab, okay? Keep your belly nice and tight, keep those feet apart. Ready, and go. So down, jab, down, jab. And I want you to visualize, okay, look, and pretend that that other person is jabbing at you. So be down and jab. Down and jab. Good work, make sure you're breathing. Down and jab. Shoulders are down. Keep going, you're doing great, you're almost there. Good, and stop. Well done, guys, okay? Grab a sip of water if you need it. We're gonna to pretend to be a flamingo. Okay, does anybody know what that is? Yeah, a bird. So what I'm gonna have you do is we're gonna do a little bit of balance, okay? Is you're gonna pretend you're a flamingo, and you're gonna hop on one leg, trying to fly, okay? You can even flap your wings if you like. So you're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, and then you're gonna try and hold it. Then you're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, and then try to hold it, okay? And we're gonna do that about 20 seconds per leg. Ready? So choose a leg. You can also have your arms out just straight, but if you wanna fly, you go for it. Ready, and go. One, two, three, four, five, and hold. Stick and hold it, and go. One, two, three, four, five. Stick and hold. This is harder than it looks. Some of you parents, you should get in on this. And go. Good, and stop. Ooh, shake that flamingo leg out. Okay, other leg, ready? And go. One, two, three, four, five. I don't know what I was doing with my arms, but you can do whatever you want with your arms. Keep going. Try and hold that sticking of the landing. One. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Last time. Hold. Good, and shake it out. Okay, what I'd like to see is, we're gonna pretend to be a speed skater now. Okay? So you're gonna be, visualize that you're on the ice. Okay, and you are going to do Speed skating, okay? Putting 
that leg towards the back. And I want you to think about making your stance, okay, your stride as long as you can. Ready? Okay, so we got our goggles on. We're down low. And ready? The gunshot goes and we are going against our competitors. Okay? Reach for the floor. Okay, keep going. Nice long strides. Pushing off the leg. Come on, guys. You're doing great. Keep going. You're almost there. Last two. Good, and standing up. Whew. Are you sweating? I am, okay? We're the same then. Okay, now's the challenge for you. We're gonna be sprinters, but guess what? You can't move your legs. Nope. You can only move your arms. And you're like, what? What do you mean? Watch this. Feet are planted, knees are soft. You're sprinting with your arms, okay? As fast as you can. This is way harder than it looks. Okay, I want you to picture the finish line. You're in the race. Ready, and go. Big. From the side, it looks like this. Big arms. So nothing should move from your armpits down. Keep going, keep going, keep going, don't stop. Come on, come on, faster. The finish line is in sight. Go, 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 be the winner. And go. You did it. You guys have two more exercises and then we are gonna cool you down on the floor. So we are gonna do super, super wide legs. Does everybody know the disco? It's a long, long time ago. It was. But disco arms go like this. So what I want you to do is bend one leg, and you're gonna reach, and then you're gonna point, okay? So bend the knee and point, here we go. Down and point, down and point, reach. Keep your tummies tight, really bend that supporting leg, reach for the outer part of your foot. Keep going. Almost there. Disco arms. Woo! Up. Good. And stop. Okay? And the other side. I think my daughter says, like, um, dip the paintbrush and paint. <laughs> so you could do that too. Ready? And go. Down and up. Down and up. Okay, make sure you're bending that supporting leg and really reach as far as you can to the outside of the foot. You guys are doing awesome. Really proud of you, keep going. Good, and last one. Amazing, guys. We are gonna take you down to the floor now. Okay, and what I'd like to see is we're going to be a swimmer. And you guys might be way too young to hear of Scuba Steve, but that's who you're going to be, okay? So I want you to lay on your bellies, and your arms are going to be way out in front. You're going to look at the floor, and what you're going to do is flutter your arms. There's a little character named Scuba Steve, okay? And he does that. So what I want you to do is do that. Ready? And go. Squeeze your belt. Okay, flutter those arms, lift the arms, squeeze your bone. Okay, keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep it up, keep it up, you're doing great. You're almost there, breathe, keep going. Reach, reach, reach and flutter, scuba Steve, visualize them. Good, and stop. You guys did fantastic, we're gonna just do a few stretches. Super important to do that. Okay, so I want you to bring your elbows underneath your shoulders, and I want you to lift your chin and push your shoulders down. So we're stretching out your bellies here and your core. I'm sure you've heard that term before. Good, and lower yourself all the way down. 
What I'd like you to do is take one foot up if you can grab it behind your back. Okay, if you can't grab it and you have pants on, you can try and grab the back of your pant leg, okay? And just holding it there if you want to rest your chin on your hand or your forehead on your hands, it's up to you, okay? Good, and release, and I'd like you to change legs. Okay, so forehead or chin on your hands, grabbing the foot, try to keep your knees close together. Deep breaths in and out to try and bring your heart rate back down. Good, and release. I'd like you to take your hands underneath your shoulders and press yourself up onto all fours. Bring your knees underneath your hips and your hands under your shoulders. We're going to do a cat-cow, okay? So here I'd like you to inhale and exhale. Bring your chin to your chest for a cat. This is a cow. Inhale, exhale, rounding your back up. Inhale, exhale, good, and coming back down to a neutral position. Like you to sit on your bumps. We're going to make a figure four, okay? So the letter four with your legs. So cross one leg over, keep your chest up nice and tall, and just push this knee out. Think about pushing it down away from your body. Okay, you should feel a nice stretch through your bum. Right, I'm holding it there. Good, and change legs. Chest up. Good, and I want you to take one leg out straight for a hamstring stretch. So the back of your leg, just want you to reach gently towards your toe. But any of these stretches, if you can't reach, that's okay. So just reach as far as you can until you feel the stretch. There should be no pain. Okay, just a gentle stretch. So remember, it's super important. Our bodies are meant to move. I love this saying, movement is magic. Okay, so be sure to stay active. Okay, even if it's just for like a short workout like this today. Okay, 15, 20 minutes, get that blood flowing and that heart pumping. Good, and I want you to take those hand, uh, legs across. Take a deep breath in. Lower the arms down halfway, and I want you to give yourselves a huge hug. And I want you to say, I am proud of myself. Amazing job, guys. I want you to bring it in and give me a high five, okay? Fabulous work. Hope to see you again. Thanks for joining me. High fives all around, even tens. Bye, guys.